WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials up 30, NASDAQ's down 15, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract. Gold contract continues higher with volume. Gold up uh, 22 bucks. 14.22. Silver is also catching the bid once again, up 14 cents, 15 dollars, 43 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 47 cents, 57 dollars, 91 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, you get the 10-year note up 13 ticks, 127.30. 30-year bond up 26 ticks, trading 155.13. You get the 10-year right now yielding 2.01. We hit uh, 1.97 last week. King dollar. King dollar down 218 ticks, trading 95,500. That continues lower with volume. You get the euro trading 114. The yen is at 107.34, and the pound is at 127.41. We get open. We take a look at the S&Ps. What you're looking at out here, folks, is that uh, what we had on Friday. Friday was option expiration. Bottom line, you had a slightly lower market. Uh, volume, uh, bottom line, was explosive volume on Friday. The highs that we're looking at inside this um, SPY right now is at uh, 294. Uh, 895. Bottom line is that what the SPY had done last week, it took out a B point, took it out with volume. That's saying that uh, the SPY wants to get up and over this 300 area. And I suspect that that's what we're going to see in the next seven, eight days. You know, you're coming into the B end of the month, beginning of the month, window dressing, as well as the 4th of July holiday. Uh, markets like to move uh, up into those uh, holidays. Well, you know, when we take a look at the gold contract, what you're looking at at gold is this. Uh, gold Trading up 22 bucks, you get 344,000 contracts. That's big contract volume. If we bring this back and you put this on a much longer term chart, what you're seeing is that we're breaking the total consolidation that we've been in since 2013. Uh, the actual number of, of a total break is 1428. You know, we've really already broken the whole aspect of where we've been uh, going all the way back to 2014. And this is a wide price spread, accelerated volume, break with conviction. That's saying that the gold contract now is going to be on its way up to 1794. And the uh, bottom line is that we keep moving like all we have to actually do is move like this uh, about another day. And then you'll have a decisive break right from the highs of 1920. And you can make the case that that's where we're going to all time highs inside the metal contract. That would make sense uh, because the dollar has done a reversal of trend. And the bottom line is, it, uh, as it did a reversal of trend, it hadn't even made it to highs. Stay right there, folks. Coming back in the next 60 minutes of trading.